G'day, this is Steve Walters from Walters Fencing as that gust of wind blows through. Today's video, we actually traveled from Tassie back to our factory in Tamworth. Met up with the guys, bit of a surprise. And then we're having a look at a bit of fencing and some of our new gear. So yeah, hope you enjoy. G'day, my name's Steve Walters. <laughs> Steve Walters. <laughs> And company he today. Here for our Zoom meeting. Yeah. <laughs> You're at headquarters. Shall we, go? Shall we go into the front office? Let's go. Um, I, I'm sorry, I'm just experiencing a bit of shock. <laughs> the bosses have just walked through the door. Oh, hello! hello. <laughs> ready for a meeting? Yeah, yeah, ready for a meeting. This is a good one. Oh, sorry about the facial buzz. <laughs> oh, wow, excellent. Hi, Joe. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you. Sorry to do that to you when you're on the phone. That's all right. What are you doing up here? Oh, just, you know, we missed you. Drive with you. You can you. zoom. Today we're no longer in sunny Tassie, we're in sunny Tamworth. Luckily, Dave's here to tell us, what are you doing here, Dave? Bit of nothing. <laughs> Hot truck. So we had a bit of trouble with our audio equipment. We're on site with Dave and I asked Dave to show us what he's doing on the job. Um, it's a, a realignment of the road. There was a, a really dangerous 90 degree angle. A lot of accidents were happening. So council has taken a bit of land and, and putting in a curved corner. So that is why all the end assemblies are so close. So that's what Dave's working on. So. What are we doing today? We're going to see the DT3 in action. G'day, my name's Steve Walters. I have Don with me here today. Um, we're going to show you a quick look at our new driver trailer, the DT3. So what we've done, you've probably seen this trailer before in the UB200 driver. We've taken the mast off and we've fitted it out to drive uh, 150 and 100 MV posts for rural fencing. So that's what we're going to show you today.
ever seen this before, Don? Many years ago, but I'm getting old and my memory's failing me, so it might have happened, it might not have. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a look around the DT3 today. Oh no, here we go. Yep. This is the front stabiliser leg. Front box. So I've got hangers, spots for everything, welders, all our tools got their own spots. There's a, up underneath is a battery charge that's mounted, so we've always got um, batteries charging if they need to charge. Consumables and tools. They're our stay fitting stuff. Yep. So, so like yeah, yeah. Yep. two Jack old batches. plates and stay points. Yep, cool. And then uh, that stuff for the hammer. Yep. Servicing the hammer. And in the future, other stuff. So, continuing around. Righto, so in here it's a different design from the DT2. We've gone for a modulised system. So, the, in the other trailer, the motor was stationary and everything moved back and forth around it. This way, the motor and drive and hydraulics are all one module that's sliding in and out. We've also gone for a uh, direct coupled generator. The downside is we've got to run the the, the coal or diesel at 3000 RPM to generate power until we put a uh, smaller generator and go for a full pole yep. and then we'll run at 1500 RPM. So this is the uh, the bottom of the mast and it's the post guiding section of it. it has inserts for 100 MB, designed around 150 MB but that uh, controls your post as it goes in so that you don't have to lever or touch it. Reduces the load of trying to straighten the post off the mast itself. So the mast there is really able to guide the hammer up and down. <laughs> so then we've got all the, the hydraulics. That's our C-top <laughs> control valve bank. And again, the main difference, this all moves with the unit there. And the other, the other one, we have the engine and the hydraulic pump stationary and then all the hoses had to move. Yeah, so there's a, a, a lot of moving in hose, but also a lot, a lot of length in hose yep. and hydraulic hose isn't cheap. Yep. So, but this makes it a lot more compact, uh, a little bit easier to work on in the event of something going wrong. Yep. And, um, yeah, just a bit tidier. Nice. Modified electric jackhammer. Before we had a big cutoff saw on the deck, which you've probably seen in some of the other videos. So what are we doing here? Uh, we're just giving the little uh, cordless circular saw designed for cutting steel a go, mainly because um, it's smaller Way and space. easier, yep. space, um, lighter, and hopefully just as good to um, as cutting as That's the big saw in the future. So, or in the past. Yep. Um, it seems to be cutting really well. Uh, we'll see how battery life goes. That was one of the big tests, but it means that we can probably run a much smaller generator. Uh, the sole job is to run the world war two. So, Don, that was a quick look around uh, the DT3. Still a work in progress, but it's looking bloody schmick. It's a bit cold out here, though. I think um, I might get my shirt dirty if I hang around any longer, so we're going back to the office. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our trip back to Tamworth. We had a great time catching up with the guys, seeing what's happening in the factory, family and friends as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Look, let us know if you want to see anything in particular or, or ask any questions. Thanks for watching.